Francisco, welcome. It's always good to see you. I want to go through several questions Hi. very quickly. I know that right now you are in Madrid. I know that right. gasoline is not priced in gallons uh, there, but what would a gallon of gasoline cost in Madrid right now? Do you know? You're getting close to eight, uh, eight dollars per gallon. Eight dollars per gallon. I want to do a little fact checking over uh, President uh, Biden's remarks earlier uh, today. Uh, attendant to this uh, ban of Russian oil imports. He said, and I'm going to play a bite in a minute, he said, it is simply not true that my administration or policies are holding back domestic energy production. Uh, I wonder whether you think that's true. Let me play a soundbite and get your reaction to some further comments he made. The United States produces far more oil domestically than all of European, all the European countries combined. In fact, we're a net exporter of energy. We're approaching a record levels of oil and gas production in the United States, and we're on track to set a record of oil production next year. In the United States, 90 percent of onshore oil production takes place on land that isn't owned by the federal government. And of the remaining 10 percent that occurs on federal land, the oil and gas industry has millions of acres leased. They have 9,000 permits to drill now. They could be drilling right now, yesterday, last week, last year. Francisco, how do you react to that? Are, is the United States a net exporter of energy? Are we on track to set record, uh, records in oil production? Can we ramp up production to, to take the place of these, uh, the 3% that, that we import from Russia? What are the facts here? So I would say uh, yes, yes, and yes to all three questions. Um, I think for for quite a while the uh, the Democratic Party uh, turned in with a, with a pretty uh, pretty uh, green agenda, and and that seems to be tilting now that prices at the pump are are, are going up and uh, inflation is biting into consumers' pockets. So what we're saying I think is a major uh, uh, U-turn. It seems like politically, but remember, um, while while the U.S. president is is the most powerful man in the world, he he's probably not the most powerful man in Texas or in Oklahoma. Um, there is uh, plenty of of industry executives that are uh, drilling every day and trying to bring oil and gas every day to uh, to the market. And and uh, to be fair, it, it's really uh, the, the the slowdown in U.S. supply growth has a lot more to do with investors. Um, asking the industry to to slow down drilling after essentially three bear markets. Right. Remember uh, the the return on capital employed for for the energy sector for the last uh, three years or the last five years, sorry, has been a big fat zero. So, so the reason, so the reason yeah. then, forgive me, Francisco. So the reason right. that oil is not flowing the way maybe it once did is shareholders, uh, investors saying to uh, the oil company executives. Hey, now, wait a minute, slow down. We're not, it's not profitable to bring it back at, the, at these price levels. Now, maybe it is. Am I understanding? Now, now, maybe it is. And now we need to see also if the federal government uh, supports uh, the industry or continues to pursue a, a green agenda. Um, one of the big things that could come to, to the fore is the Keystone Pipeline, which was, as you know, revoked in, in, in the first day in office of, of President Biden. Uh, approved on the second day in office, President Trump. So it's been a big contentious <laughs> uh, pipeline, I would say, politically. But, um, uh, you know, that would be a pipeline that could bring some Canadian barrels down to the U.S. Gulf Coast as well. So, yeah. uh, so that's one idea. Then, then there's also crude by rail. Uh, right. You could see more crude oil coming out of North Dakota and other basins if, if, if the price is right and, and the government supports I it. I want to ask two other questions. I, I, I'm, I've always been curious with the, with the Keystone Pipeline. Has the fact that the Keystone Pipeline has now been halted by this administration, has that meant that one drop less of oil has come out of the Canadian soils at all? In other words, or is it just been sent over to the west coast of Canada to be shipped to wherever it goes to be refined or whatever? Uh, there, there, is, there is no transportation capacity to the, to the west coast of Canada from, uh, from Alberta, so there is no pipeline. So actually, uh, the, the Canadians have their own problems with, uh, with some of the lands uh, that, that go from, uh, from Alberta. So it actually into, has then meant BC, that yeah. less oil has come out of the ground that otherwise would have. Yes, it has. I think if okay. you had Keystone XL in place uh, and, and you had support for Canadian oil and gas production, you would get more, more, more energy out of, out of Alberta. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.